Would you sit and fly your family on a 3D printed airplane? Absolutely. I look. I, I can prove that. I put Mike in a 3D printed supercar that goes 300 miles. It's very an hour. different. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know that it is. I mean, we have been uh, all of our structures that we that we have uh, deployed for Ferrari and for Aston Martin and for McLaren and Bugatti and a number of other OEMs are safety critical. These are suspension braking systems. If they fail, the driver's life is at risk. There's a higher probability that if that component fails, it will result in a death than not. And we have deployed. I mean, I am putting our, our we are putting our servicemen and women in airplanes with additively manufactured parts, critical parts in them. I have complete confidence. In fact, I would be more concerned with putting a cast part with our current industrial base than I would with one of my parts. Absolutely. I have so much data. I have data on every single layer of the build, the thermal history, the pictures of every single build plate. If there's a void, I'll know it's there. And we can actually run that void through a damage tolerance computation analysis that allows us to know exactly what that void's going to do over time as, it, as, as the part progresses through its life cycle. So I have way more confidence in advanced manufacturing capabilities than I do do in some of the conventional manufacturing uh, uh, approaches, particularly in our existing defense industrial base.